Okay, Sly. Word on the street is that Salim al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding, and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your monocucom with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which Salim al Kupar may have come in contact. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. Why, that door definitely does not belong here. You'd better get a picture of that as well so I can analyze it. Greetings. You're Salim al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go lick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement. Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. Okay, apparently Salim lost a small fortune betting on the camels a while back and had to pawn his thief outfit. Sly, if we could buy that outfit back for Salim, I'm sure we could gain his trust. The shopkeeper is a security freak, a real head case. His place is a fortress and he never leaves. All business is conducted through a slot in the door. I think this is one time we're going to have to play it straight and pay the man what he wants. As you might imagine, his price is pretty steep. The shopkeeper will only accept payment in the form of flawless gemstones. Three to be exact. The only gems of that quality around here are the decorative stones embedded in the city walls. I've located the three largest specimens for you. All you have to do is remove them, avoid the guards, and bring them to the shop. Just make sure those gems are still flawless when you get there. What do you want? I'm here to buy the thief outfit. Sorry, I do not believe one such as yourself could meet my price. Good day. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I guess I'll just have to go bet these gems on the camel races. Wait, you have gems? Let me see. Man, these rocks are so heavy, I can barely lift them. You want the gems, I want the outfit. Do we have a deal? Indeed. If you want to purchase these old rags, who am I to object? All sales final, no returns. <laughs> Good job, 
not sly, although it seems we have another problem. Selene tells me that Miss Decibel is constantly changing the locations of the captured thieves, which makes them almost impossible to track. It's going to be... Hold on, Sly! I'm picking something up! Sweet sunspots! Sly! The paradox is here! He's mating with Miss Decibel right now! Oh. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect opportunity for a little eavesdropping. Great idea! Just one thing! That outfit won't fool these guards. They know the locals and they'll peg you for a stranger immediately. You should just stay out of sight. Thanks for the info, Bentley. I'm on my way. So, please tell me the operation is going according to plan. Of course. Everything is progressing splendidly. I have those raggedy little thieves completely under my control. I've never seen better forgeries. The documents they're producing are of the highest quality. Perfect. Once I get them back to the present day and my royal lineage is discovered, my wealth and power will be unstoppable. Well, <laughs> there is one tensy little problem. <laughs> we still need to feed our little worker bees, but our supplies are running low. The one who calls himself the Panther seems to work best when I feed him grrr, scorpion claws. Disgusting! <laughs> yeah, very well. I shall have some delivered immediately. Whatever it takes to keep these vermin working. Oh, and one more thing. Tell your guards if they don't capture Cooper, I will have them all fired and then executed. Tell me, what do you think of this little sand pit? Well, darling, this dry environment plays absolute havoc with my sinuses. <laughs> my music practice has been atrocious lately. Would you like to hear that? Not really, but I want you to hear me. Do not fail me like those other idiots, Shari. I'd hate to see you stranded here permanently. Oh, I, uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Good, because the others have failed. Even Penelope, and she was the smart one. But now I have to turn my back on her. You understand. Oh, yes, of course. Everything will go precisely as planned. Uh, although, I must trouble you for some camel cheese. Absolutely horrid stuff, but the thief called the tiger seems to rely on it, and our reserves are almost depleted. Can't we just starve these filthy hoodlums into submission? Ah, uh, fine. I will send the delivery boy. So, any more requests? Oh, no, sweetums. I believe that's all. As soon as the documents are complete, I will deliver them personally. Magnifique! Then I should have them very soon. Oh, wait. There is one lost in the pretty little thing. <laughs> the one called the lion seems to favor cobra tails. And you know how troublesome those are to obtain. Fine, you shall have them. But I had better get those papers quickly. Why? I've got a crazy idea. That outfit may not work on the guards, but I bet outsiders like La Paradox and Miss Decibel wouldn't know the difference. She's expecting deliveries for the thieves, right? Try using the outfit to impersonate the delivery boy. If they buy it, we'll know where the thieves are being kept. Excellent idea, Bentley. And just to ensure it's foolproof, I'm gonna use my... No, Sly, don't say it! Italian accent! I said crazy, Sly, not suicidal. And who is this little peepsqueak? Yes, identify yourself immediately. It's a me, uh, the delivery boy. You are called? Hmm, I don't recognize your scruffy features. The other boys are out to seek. Uh, something about the snake bites. Is there something wrong with your voice? No, uh, I've uh, talked like this uh, my whole life. How droll. I see. Well, if you're really the delivery person, then you would know the usual orders, no? What a food does the panther require? Why, the panther loves the scorpion claws. Hmm. He appears to be legitimate. Oh, thank goodness. Here are the delivery locations. Hurry up, please. 
why it's a good thing we're in Arabia, because in Italy that accent would be considered a felony. Now let's go rescue those thieves. 